first off, I've got to mark off all the mark off the line where we're going to cut. We need for wheel clearance. Now these are 18s. I plan on going to a 19 inch, which I guess you can say in perspective compared to an 18, the rim will come up to right here, whereas the tire will be maybe about this tall. And again, let's just say if it's that tall, then that will give us a an additional uh, four inch, three and a half inch drop with having space for clearance. So I believe I'll be happy right there. From here to the bottom edge of that, that's right at, from here to the bottom edge of that, that's right at 2.75 inch. And then once we cut this out, we're only going to cut the outer layer. I'm going to cut again just above where the two meet. Then, of course, uh, we're going to flip this upward. That's going to cap off this edge that we made. Now, I'll go back over. You know, it's not perfectly round, and uh, I could gain a little bit of clearance, like, say, that tab, pushing this up a little bit, um, and just getting it overall round. And then we'll hammer this outward. Now, I know you notice uh, some guys will cut these kind of like pie cuts here and then bend these tabs up. Well, you're left with these little slots. You got to go back and weld it or seal it somehow. Uh, what I'm going to do is try to manipulate this metal to where we nearly, I'll literally uh, invert it and stretch it out to where it flaps up. Kind of like how you flip your eyelids up, you know. We're only worried about one seam instead of one seam and about two dozen seams where people uh, usually do these kind of like half cuts. Yes, it is easier to bolt, uh, fend those, fold those tabs upward, uh, but with this a little bit of dollying with a body hammer, should be able to get this heavier metal to flip upward. And obviously, keeping it one piece will make it so much uh, stiffer and uh, much more rigid. What I'm going to do next is take this inner liner and just kind of just give it a tug. These are just a set of channel locks. And I'm just going to kind of do this jerking method. This will coarsely stretch the metal out. The next step after this would be to lift the car up, pull the wheel off, and then hammer this inner edge outward. As you can see, it's already starting to flip outward. Just got to make it up to this height. There shouldn't be a reason why we need to make all these pie cuts, creating more uh, holes in a, in a body panel. We should be able to flip this over, trim off the excess, do our tack welds, put a bead, seal it. It's the rear corner lifted up, wheel off. Just to show you the main tools I'm using is going to be the Simply this mechanics hammer with a ball peen end on it. Obviously it's got this uh, kind of a ball shape iron head. This is not heavy, this is maybe about a 14 ounce hammer. Next to it is just a Pittsburgh body hammer. This head is a, a nylon and this is very lightweight, maybe I don't know, I guess uh, 8 ounces. See this little indent here? Well, we gotta fold, unfold that, and then uh, push it outward. You know, here's another example here. So that's where that will come in play. And uh, this ball peen, I'll start with this here and just really try to um, hammer at uh, anything that needs to be stretched out. And of course, we'll go out to the, I'll go out to the end here, and this will really open it up. Um, you have to open up this outer edge even though we're eventually going to cut it out we've got to stretch this just as well
rear of the S14 has been radiused. While being radiused, it's simultaneously capped off with its own wheel well. Hammered this inner wheel well out, constantly hitting it from the underside and the outer lip. With that ball peen, it stretches it out a bit. And when it stretches it out, it gives you a lot of material to uh, work with. Well, I wouldn't say a lot, just enough to where this end can be flipped out, flipped inside out, much like how uh, you know you can flip your eyelid open, you know, out, to, to, and it holds in place. Well, this is pretty much the exact same thing that we're doing here. So here I had a little excess. You're going to play with a little bit of excess. You saw I trimmed it with uh, some tin snips. Um, had it been the full length, it would have been much more difficult to flip this over. Here, yeah, I did come up short, but uh, when it comes time to weld, this is definitely within welding range. You know, once I put some tacks, you know, c coming up, right when I get here, it'll actually get really soft where I can tack and then press up. More or less, that's one way I cap off a rear end whenever I cut out for clearance. <clears throat> Plenty of clearance for a 19 inch uh, slam down. Well, till next time.